Shredded wheat. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Um, that's a lot of lives. And that's not a lot of cash. Modifiers? Modifiers are nothing. It's just normal 98. No, uh, no speed, no health increase. Can you just do this? Ah, ah, no selling, no selling. Okay, now we got 8k, 9k for the rest. Jungle drums, primary training. Now we're down to 6k. We'll get level 4 open for the totems. Even though it's only 30%, it will help a little bit for the impel here. And then now we got 4k for, I guess, overdrive. Not that it does much, but I don't know. Why the heck not? Let's go. We really just gotta save a few lives. It's so many... 49k. We're okay if we take, like, 5 BFPs. Well, all I can tell you is that we're gonna struggle when ceramics come. Can we actually tank every ceramic? I don't think so. But we just gotta pop as many mobs as, as we can. Dan 30k? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Especially not for Zoom Gs. Okay, okay, okay. Do we have every tower? Uh, no military. Did the creator say solution was in the title? Shredded wheat. W what does that have to do with any tower? Shredded wheat. Oh, remove the, the corn. But what does that do? Let me see what tower does well when you remove the corn. We have a tech terror. How does that work? We are left with a 9700 after this. And what if I buy plasma just so I can pop as much as I can? And then this ability will take as much HP as it can. 300 Alchemist, because that's all we can afford. Open for the pierce, of course. Buy that, and let's go. I doubt it. Like, say we use it now. Boom. Wow, that did nothing. Reset. Perma spike. Discounts. Tax speed. 0 to 5 with an Alchemist. And then we're down to... And I still want towers I can stall. I'm gonna buy a mob glue. Stall as long as I can. Now, it's not quite a perma stall, but it, it, it's pretty good. Glue will slow down enough, I think. I feel like we need to maximize the potential of the spike. So right now, it's not even at the full potential. Because the spikes aren't timing out yet. There's still a lot of spikes to uh, go through. Yeah, you see? Third BFB? Wow. It dies so quickly. So that ain't gonna work. Okay, so you can change the hero. Is there a hero that would be useful at level 3? Only Pat Fusty. I'll use Pat. I'm gonna try the Trebuchet. We're down to 13k. Because we can kind of one-shot Serams. And this guy's got global range. So let me just see, is this close at all? Doesn't look like it, they're too fast. They're too fast. I mean, we have glue gunners that can slow down a lot of it, but... Is it enough? Come on. Free 0 to 2s. Let's go. Nah, we're missing a lot. I'm gonna just keep buying 0 to 2s though. So the bright side is that we are taking down the ceram so that we lose less lives, but still. That probably doesn't mean very much. Eh, yeah, 40k. I mean, it's the best we've done so far, but I doubt this is the solution. Like, keep in mind, as UMG, it takes away 16,000. So, good luck with that. Maelstrom shreds wheat. Not literally, but... Maelstrom. There's an upgrade in the game that literally shreds. Okay, shredder. Mob shredder? Maybe it's not the corn, it's the tower upgrade name. Mob shredder. Forgot about that. Just a bunch of 140s, honestly. One four zeros, as many as we can afford. So yes, we have enough money for level 3, I think. Come on. Yeah. 427. It sounds very close to being it, because we're so low on money. And this is the perfect setup you can ask for. So basically what we did is this. I guess we use it now. Pat, 1, 2, 3, 4. That does a little bit of damage. Hopefully we can get another ability gap in time. That was actually no damage, wow. Ah, uh, man, I'm, skept I'm skeptical. So, Fusty again, one, two, three, four, come on. 
last chance to save ourselves. Damn! I really thought this would do well, guys. Ah, what if we do both things that shred? Blade Maelstrom, Mob Shredder, or Spike Storm. One Shredder. Yep, that's it, that's it. And again, when I mean that's it, I mean that's as much as we can afford. Not that uh, this will work. Either way, time to figure it out. Does it work? Spike Storm early, just to take down some HP. So now, Super. Oh man, no. Shredded wheat, come on. The blades don't shred. Not enough. That's a shame. It looks interesting, but when you try it, it, it just uh demoralizes you. Come on. Shredded wheats. Do something. Oh wait, wait. Beef bees. Nah. Still very far off. Very far off. I guess we'll try tax zone. And then what? We got 10k. For what? I really want to try a concoction, because that would do some really good uh, damage. And now we're down to 5k, 6k. A recursive? Yeah, that looks good. Let's see. Okay, this is pretty much uh, out of money. I'm going to go on a limb and say this is the best combo we have so far, but... I'm not sure this is going to beat it completely. All we got to do is pop it, and then the concoction will do the rest. Come on, chain it. Nice. Okay, we're getting them to Serams, that's progress. We're not popping it, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're leaking BFBs or mobs now, aw. Uh, that's not good. But progress, progress. But we're gonna fall short a little bit before <laughs> we get all the BFBs. I think it's gotta be Concoction. Concoction does a lot of damage. Should I try Mob Glue? Yeah, let's try Mob Glue. Pretty much out of money, so let's try. So, Fusty is actually better early, so that we get the concoction to explode a lot of balloons at once. So, let's use it now. Come yeah, on. Nice chain, nice chain. Now, keep up the good work. First, mobs. I feel like we need splatter for the uh, mob glue. Or do we? We're popping a lot of them now, except we leaked a few, like two. Two or three. Um, yeah, without Fusty. We can't sell Fusty and rebuy. Hmm. And then there goes the rest of our lives. So there we go. There's the chain. Now let's get him glued, please. This is glued, but it's not doing enough damage. It might be, actually. And then, yeah, here we go. They just die. And then, we got Fusty again, actually. Hold on. Closer, closer. But yeah, we're... <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it's still really far off. Hint, tax zone is very close, but think about another shredding option on the tower. So, Super Maelstrom, which I did try before, but it didn't work. Maybe we do the same thing, but instead with a Maelstrom, Super Maelstrom. I didn't try Super Maelstrom with a concoction. Clumping things will help more. So, Mole Press. How much can I afford one Mole Press? That's just one, just one. Hmm. Maybe I need the Mole Press at the front, then. I don't know if here's good. We can remove this just for line of sight, if that helps. Use one early. So, when to use it now? When it turns a corner. When it turns a corner. Now, Fusty, ability? Come on. It's a lot of damage. Is it enough? No. Do we need to wait longer or clump it closer first before we do anything else? Maybe you gotta separate the towers. That didn't do very much. Well, guys, here we go. Apparently, I'm really close to the answer. It's really one ability to rule them all. Should I use it now? It's almost dead. I think... Now, now, now. Fusty, Fusty. Let's go. Let's go, Bloons. Come on. ZMGs. Please. Oh, my God. It's not popping. Do we need to use one more Maelstrom? We could definitely use two, but... Eh, we're actually getting really close. Hold on. 5k. Got it all to Moabs. So another hint, um, don't remove corn, what? So do I only use this island? So if I cram every tower closer, can I get all the towers that I need? So we're now left with, uh, about the same money. 1732. I, I don't see why this would do better than the other time, but I don't know. Could be wrong. 
Again, keep waiting until the very end. Very end. So one more press. Use it, use it. Yeah, man. Currently, his UMGs are nowhere close. Wow. Alrighty, boys. We can get a 4 0 0. 4 0 0. Yuck. 0 1 3. And then we're left with, uh. Not enough. Let's go. We got the right combo of towers. I'm told. So it's now down to execution. Now. Now. Come on. Zoom G's. Um, it's gonna time out. Maybe I should use it twice. It's already halfway. But that doesn't look like it's gonna really do much. Come on, one more. Be a piece. Wait a minute. 15,000. That is so close. That is like 20 mobs off. 15. I mean, we're literally almost there. When you got 49k lives, losing only 20 mobs is definitely very close. So I will take that. Activate it when it's close to being buffed or close to turning the bend. I think now is good. Now. Come on. So please take down all BFBs. It's looking pretty good. We actually got some ceramics too. Look. Whoa. We got a good chunk. But now, there's still a lot of BFBs. So I don't know. And there's no Fossey now to buff it. Use it. Come on. Cox, please do something. Yes, BFBs. Mobs, please. Moabs. That was worse. Move Cock. You mean up here? Not a joke. All the way over here. In the corner. 402. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Let's go again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot. Oh, I didn't notice. It can't shoot here. Is that what we needed? This entire time. So yeah, I'm gonna do it on one shot. So this is pretty good. And one more, more press. We need to wait. I'm gonna wait. Turn the corner, turn the bend. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Use it. Oh, I forgot to use Fossey. Holy shit, stop doing that. Wait, does this work? No way. What? You didn't use Fusty. You didn't. Nice. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I had the right towers for like an entire hour, but I just had to figure out where the fuck to place it. And it was these spots. It was one Maelstrom to, to, to rule them all. And this god. Godlike placements. Well, it was hard, but I think... The difficulty paid off at the end.